Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. <laughs> good. I know we had good lunch, so I don't know why every time I get session only after lunch. Okay. So I have ten minutes to talk about how the future of workplace is going to look like. Did some research, but some of it is my thought as well. So I have identified nine things. It's very interesting as well as scary also at the same time. So I hope you might agree to some of them, might not agree to to some of it. Look forward to hear your feedback on what you think how the future is going to look like. Okay, so it reminds you of something. If you look at all the Hindi movies, that's the kind of office, and you can also smoke at your desk. Like very interesting things to people trading on their on their desk, right? So the key the key point is that what changed in last twenty years? I think we are going to see this kind of big change in less than five years. Right, the way things are moving. So here are the nine things that I think is going to change in the, in uh, the next five years. One is the the concept of full time employment. Like most of our parents work in the same organization for thirty years, they joined and they retired. Now already the average time that it takes to the average time that a IT worker or a knowledge worker That's spends in industry is less than three years. And I, I think that as we progress in future, maybe the concept of full time employment itself might go away, and, and everybody will be, uh, be will be like available to take assignment on a project basis. You know, this is another uh, thing. As I am aging, I think it's becoming a big concern, right? So earlier we were taking taking it for granted that your boss is going to be like uh, elder than you. But more and more cases we see that you are reporting to a younger boss, and I think uh, in future this will become more. The norm will just become the opposite, right? So for all of us who are aging, I think reason to be worried about unless there are some other things that I have also identified. Unless we get really prepared for future. I am talking about uh, a company. You can identify. There is a company that powers 28% of the internet. They have 500 plus full-time employees, not part-time. Pre present in 40 plus countries. I am. I am sure most of you know that company. But what's unique about them is that they don't have any office. No office at all. They reimburse if you go and work from Starbucks. They they pay pay you for your coffee. For which company I am talking about? And I think that this is also going to become a trend very soon, right? Any guess which company I am talking about? Yeah, correct. Swordpress. Swordpress. So I, maybe this this will become a trend as we uh, move forward. This is the number, the third item that that I could identify. Fourth is this one. You no, know, I know a lot of you follow and know Mark and Anderson. I think is the most respected venture capitalist. I know for VC there are only two kinds of opinion, right? People either they like them or, or people don't like them, right? Because we don't know why they invest and where do they invest, right? So he has a very popular statement that in future either you are going to tell computers what they should do or the computer will tell you what you have to do, right? According to economist, almost 50% of the jobs are anyway going to become uh, they'll go away. They, those jobs will not exist, and we have already seen in last 10 years, right? Last 10 years we saw. Jobs where thousands of people used to work, but those those jobs no longer exist. Like I'm sure all of you know, manual testing as a as a big area, right? At some point of time, most of the SIs had as much as 30% of their workforce working in manual testing. I think that has almost gone away, right? Maybe reduced to 10% or so, right? And this is another trend, right? You might we might coexist in our office with uh, robots who will maybe drink coffee also. Maybe they will look alike. We don't know, right? This is the fourth prediction. Fifth is uh, you can see a lot of uh, Star Wars character here because our marketing guy they, they really like it, right? <laughs> so I think this will become another reality that that uh, learning will become a integral part of our day-to-day -day work, and I think uh, everybody will start appreciating that unless you spend a certain amount of your time on a daily basis on on learning, then you become irrelevant very soon, right? So, and I'm sure there are a lot of companies. We are already trying to solve that problem. My company is also trying to solve the problem. There are a lot of other companies also trying to solve the problem. But soon somebody will come up with a model that all of us will start uh, uh, taking it for granted that okay, and start realizing that why nobody thought about it earlier. Then there is another 
little controversial point. I think I was talking to some of my panelists and we had a new kind of view came out. So, you know, I'm talking about uh, this four domains, all of them are very different. What is common among them? Fintech, automobile, renewable energy, space tech, all are like very different uh, areas or together. What is common in them? This guy, yeah. So, the point that I'm trying to drive is that while we have always thought, learned and advocated the fact that domain knowledge is the most important aspect to be successful or it's required to be successful, but there is this guy who has no idea about a domain, but he gets into every domain and really does it very well, right? So, the view is that in future, like getting married to one domain did not necessarily be a great skill to have, right? but I think the most important thing will become your ability to get into a domain, learn it really quickly and do well. <coughs> This is also a very interesting uh, thought and novel is again a very popular VC in, in Bay Area and I agree to his statement a lot I'm, and I think that this is also a trend in future wherein it will not look forward to 40 hours a week, everybody will identify a, a problem or assignment that they will take up, they will complete that assignment successfully, move on, take a break and take up the ne next assignment. While this is already happening, I am sure a lot of very good techies, they follow this model, a lot of techies, they I don't know where they uh, live, but they work remotely, they, they take assignments online, finish it completely and move on to the next assignment with a break. This is number, number 7 that I could identify and I don't know what is it. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, last point I couldn't identify what, what I had thought at that point of time, so apologies. Next point is about this uh, talent engagement. I think this is also uh, this will also become a very important uh, uh, point that uh, people will be looking at uh, engaging as one of their top priorities right? because millennials they will not only be interested in working for an organization that pays them high, they will also be looking at organization that really engages them uh, very well. And I think to some extent we have already seen this kind of thing happening, right? So this this was a short presentation about uh, it's my th thought about how the future is going to look like look forward to hearing your thoughts i'm available after this session so with that i'm done if anybody has any observation anything please please feel free to uh, say so after this we have three different um, uh, panel discussion as, as 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 part of this um, uh, track one of them i'm moderating on a skill acquisition versus talent acquisition and, and after that we have two more topics related to the overall theme of skilling workplace HR and so on. So thank you everyone.